Hey, Chris here. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different, something that I'm not really all that comfortable with doing. I've, uh, I'm trying to get, get used to talking on camera a little more, talking off the cuff. But I wanted to talk about something that was, um, well, in my, uh, my episode the other day, I was, I, when I was talking about me, about where I came from, kind of my backstory, I was saying that I always had this feeling that I was meant for something greater, that um, that I was destined for for something something really meaningful and worthwhile, and it's something that I was always embarrassed to talk about. I never told anybody, or at least hardly anybody, because I was always afraid of seeming grandiose, of seeming arrogant. Um, you know, I. I I was always very sensitive to the the criticism of my generation that we were a bunch of special snowflakes who all thought that that we uh, just deserved to be in a position of power just just for the sake of existing because when we were growing up, our parents always told us that oh, we could be anything we want, and you know if you set your mind to it, you can be the president of the United States, et cetera, et cetera. And I do think that there's some really valid criticisms there. Because uh, my generation does act like that. They think that everything should be handed to them, that we deserve it, and they throw a fit if they don't get it. Um, so I've always really, really wanted to avoid being seen like that. So I did not want to admit that I always had this feeling of, of being destined for something greater. But when I, um, I've been reflecting on it a little bit, and I think that that feeling exists for for a good reason and it probably it doesn't it isn't just me it's probably probably a lot of people have that feeling that um that they're destined for something greater than than what the world tends to give them and says to get a nine to five job and um you know work your life away and then you can retire and then uh play golf until you die right that's kind of the standard at least in the u.s that's kind of the standard life plan and I think a lot of us feel like that's not enough. That's not really meaningful. And to me, I really, I really believe that we have that feeling of being destined for something greater because we actually are. We are on this earth for a reason. We have a mission that we should be accomplishing. And we were not created for no reason. We have something meaningful that we should be doing. And if we do the standard nine to five life and then play golf until we die. We are missing out on something really profound. That's my belief on the matter. Um, it reminds me of a parable Jesus said that uh, about the, the master who had three servants and he gave to each of his servants a certain amount of, of money uh, while he was away to put to good use. And the, the first the first servant made 10 times the amount of money when he, and gave it to the master when he came back. And, uh, and the second servant had, had made five times the amount of money. And the third servant had just buried the money in the ground and, and ignored it. And then when the master came back, he gave the master the same amount of money. And, and then the master came back and he it congratulated the first two servants who had expanded the money that was given to them. And then the third servant, he called him a, a lazy and wicked servant and chastised him and took away the little bit of money he had and gave it to the, the servant that had made the most. And I think, um, I think this, is, this is what this means, is that if you, you were given this life, you were given these abilities, even, even if you think you're no one special, you have, you have a lot of abilities that could be cultivated. And if you waste them away for some nine to five corporate job that's completely meaningless to you, just, you know, to support yourself. And then you're, uh, you're just living for the, for the nights and weekends where you can drink beer and watch football and play video games. And that's your life. Well, you're, you're that lazy and wicked servant. You're being, you're, you're taking what's given to you and you're not doing anything with it. You're wasting it. So, I really think that if you feel that there's that you're destined for something greater, it's because you are, and you should follow that feeling. That feeling was put in you for a reason. You should listen to it. You should really 
do everything you can to try to make the most of your mission in life. And you may not know what that is, but you, you can be pretty sure what it isn't. And sitting on the couch, watching football, and working for some job that you hate, that is not it. You know that that's not it. So walk in the direction of what is meaningful. I heard, I heard a quote recently I thought was really good. It said, um, you don't have to see the whole staircase to take the first step. So follow what feels meaningful. That feeling exists for a reason. It exists to guide you. So follow that. Do what is meaningful, and then you will find, you will start to make plans in your head, and you will have to destroy those plans and replace them and, uh, and modify them as you go along. But you will figure it out if you are following what is meaningful. So that's all I have to say for you guys now. Um, if, you, if that resonates with you, or you have some suggestions or better ideas, please let me know. Leave them in the comments.